Hello po, a blessed day to everyone. My name is Andrea Nolasiman and here we are again for another healthy spiritual reminder inspired by God's holy words. Unang-una po, gusto ko po mag, 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 magpaumanhin kasi po yung boses ko po ay pangit po pakinggan because of meron pa po akong sipon at saka kunting ubo po. And, but I praise God because I am already healed. Amen po. Glory to God. And that's a disadvantage of being an OFW po kasi wala ka pong maasahan kundi si Lord at <laughs> sarili mo lang. Wala pong mag-aalaga sa'yo dito. But I praise God kasi may mga tao din na malapit sa akin Yung tito at tita ko andito din po. So, um, I am not alone. At marami pong um, uh, Pilipino na dito din po. And so I praise God kasi um, I miss the times that andun po sa Pilipinas kasi andun po yung pamilya natin at, at, at when I go to vacation po, um, very relaxing kasi patutulog ka lang, pagising mo, may mga pagkain na nakahanda. <laughs> so uh, glory to God for the life of my family. Anyway po, um, today po, today's topic is all about being born again Christian. Now, I just want to share po yung experience ko po when I was starting to share the Word of God. Especially dito po sa video na I was messaging some people or many many of my friends. As a matter of fact, all of my friends sa Facebook. I tried to send them a message asking for permission kung pwede ko po po silang uh, senda ng mga ganitong video about the Word of God. Healthy spiritual reminder. And some of them has... Uh, rejected my offer because of knowing that I'm a born again Christian. Now, first of all po, gusto ko po isabihin po na when you are rejecting the person na nagsishare ng word of God, remember these kind of people are just being used by God. We are just instrument of God because God is a spirit. So, God wants to use people para may bahagi yung word of God niya. Yung mga pari, pastors, they are used by God. So, if one of them tries to share to you the word of God, if you reject them, you're actually not rejecting the people, but you're rejecting God Himself. Kung share po ng word of God sa atin po, wag po natin i-reject kasi si Lord po yan ang nakikipag-usap sa atin. Amen po. But, but of course, I understand because um, we have different kinds of belief, we have different kinds of cultures, and ganito mga practices. So, it's normal na ganun po talaga ang reaction. Some people would think kasi po na when a person become a born again Christian, akala po nila na they have already left the the belief they had before. Or kung if I am a, uh, I am a Catholic po, then when I become a Christian po, I did not left the the my belief in Jesus Christ, in God the Father, in the Holy Spirit, but it actually deepened my relationship with God po. Paano ko po yan nasami? Because when I become a born again Christian, I started to to read the Bible. I started to know the truth and the truth has set me free. Hindi lang po it born again means um bagong tao. Bagong tao ka na. As God says in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, um, I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life that I now live in the flesh, I live for Christ, who loved me and gave himself for me. So, yun po ang buhay po natin ngayon as a born-again Christian. It doesn't mean na, na I left from, from my life. Uh, from my belief before but I actually just uh, it actually just deepened my relationship with God Amen. but in order for us to really understand what truly means to be being a born again Christian um, we should be on according to God's words which is in the Bible so um, in order for us to understand this more let us read in John chapter 3 verses 1 to 5 Amen. So let's read. Um, God says, There was a man named Nicodemus, a Jewish religious leader who was a Pharisee. After dark one evening, he came to speak with Jesus. Rabbi, he said, We all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miraculous signs are evidence that God is with you. 
Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean? exclaimed Nicodemus. How can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the Spirit. Humans can reproduce only human life, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. So don't be surprised when I say you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it wants, just as you can hear the wind, but you can't tell where it comes from or where it is going. So you can't explain how people are born of the Spirit. Amen. Glory to God. So, glory to God for this wonderful message of God. Um, dito po, in-explain po talaga ni Lord what is truly being a born-again Christian. Ito po yung sinasabi ni Lord, um, born again in spirit and in water. That means baptism po in the, in the water and baptism in the Holy Spirit. Ito po yung born again. Hindi Nag, nagtaka nga po si Nicodemus sa explanation ni Jesus Christ sabi po niya kan Jesus Christ paano po ba ibabalik yung malaking tao into sa womb ng mama niya imposible po ba? so Nicodemus took it literally na parang born again talaga in physical manner hindi po, God is explaining here, Jesus Christ is explaining here that when a person becomes born again it means in the spirit po. We are born in the Spirit. Paano ko po nasabi? Because the process of be, to be born again in the Holy Spirit is first to, to, to repent for our sins. You have to understand that we are all sinners po. That, and sabi ni Lord, sabi po dito ni Lord na no one can enter the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven unless they are born again in water and in spirit so very important po ito so in order for us to be born again first you must understand you must realize na tayo pong mga tao ay makasalanan tao po amen po it's our nature already sinful nature when adam and eve um disobeyed god it started that sinful nature po at namana po natin yan kang Adam and Eve. That's why all of us are all sinners. All of us have fall short of God's glorious standard. So wala po talaga makakapagsabi na mapupunta sila. Uh, wala po makakapagsabi na na malinis po sila. Lahat po tayo ay makasalanan tao po. Therefore, all of us will go to hell will go to have eternal punishment but John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life so ito po yung chance po natin to have eternal life through Jesus Christ po and first you have to repent for your sins you have to for, for to ask for forgiveness kay Lord sa mga kasalanan po natin and once we do that you tell to God that, Lord, I accept you, Lord Jesus Christ, as my Lord and Savior. Bakit po? Kasi only through Jesus Christ, we will be saved po. Siya po yung inoffer yung sarili niya. He died on the cross for all of us to, to redeem us. Kapalit. Siya po yung kapalit sa ating um, instant na tayo ang mamamatay. Siya po ang kumuha nun at, at binigyan tayo ng way way para hindi na tayo mag-suffer but kundi to have an eternal life so you have to admit to yourself to confess to God deeply in your heart truthfully na Lord I accept the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior and when you do that heartily truthfully po the Holy Spirit will reside in your life Amen po. that's the explanation of being a born again Christian because our um, yung buhay natin before na, na makasalanan tao tayo um, makasalanan, sobra makasalanan po tayo madumi po tayo when we repent and accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior na bago na po tayo we've been born again 
agreement po na bagong buhay na po tayo as God says in 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Amen? So, that's the good news po. We have that opportunity po to be born again kasi tayong lahat po maduming tao, makasanantana po and God says it is very important for a person to be born again in the spirit para po mapunta sa langit because if you are not born again in the spirit, in the Holy Spirit of God then our life is leading to hell na po is leading to destruction, eternal destruction po yan forever dapat matakot po tayo dyan we have to really repent for our sins po right now po I hope and I pray that you will receive this message po talaga at it will convict yung puso po natin na magrepent po tayo sa mga kasalanan po natin kasi wala pong iba po talaga ipang paraan para po tayo mas save you know po our life here on earth is just limited this is just a temporary world sabi po sa bible we are just um, 75 years yung yung kwan po natin yung limit po natin dito but kung ma-extend po yan it is just bonus na po yan kay lord sa atin but when you speak of 75 years here on earth that is just kanang very short short time life is too short amen po life is too short to waste it tapos at the end kanang eternal suffering po eternal torment eternal condemnation you know po there are people who are atheist who are agnostic who don't believe in god i don't think that they don't believe in god i believe that they believe in God but they do not want to submit in the authority of God because of their pride. God says pride is very dangerous. God says in John for James 4 7, I believe, um, God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Amen. So because of our pride, because of our pride matigas yung puso po natin we do not want to submit to God we do not want to know the truth in the Bible we do not want to repent and that will lead us to our eternal destruction you know po I'm not making this video para um, i-promote kong sarili ko para mag video lang mag show off or ano this is really um, uh, you know po nung nung naranasan ko po yung salvation po I really thought I really thought to myself na people need this message kailangan po malaman nito ng tao we are all lost po ako po I was lost also before but because of Jesus Christ I have been found by Him and it's so sad po kung meron po mga tao na mag reject sa message na ito sa message of God kasi their life is already leading to destruction but when they know the truth, the truth will set them free. So ito po yung na-explain sa atin ni Lord na being a born again Christian po. Now, when when we start to, to repent for our sins and accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, um, bagong creation na po tayo. We no longer live by our um, our normal life. Dati kung... kung Kung nagmumura po tayo, ay since the Holy Spirit is already within us, the Holy Spirit will convict us na masama ang pagmumura. So, we will not do that again. If we are drug addict, so the Holy Spirit will convict us na wag mo nang gawin yan, masama yan sa katawan mo, so hindi na tayo gagawin. So, bagong buhay po talaga, born again po talaga tayo in the spirit po kasi we are no longer lived by our own fleshly desires but we are living in according to the will of the Holy Spirit which is residing sa, sa, sa puso natin, sa isipan po natin. So, that is a continuous walk po until the second coming of Jesus Christ. Kasi po, um, there are two kinds of holiness po. Possessional holiness and progressional holiness. Possessional holiness means that's the moment, that's the time that you repent for your sins and accept that Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So, you, your holiness, uh, you already possess that holiness. But since we are, we are still kanang buhay pa tayo, namumuhay pa po tayo, since we are still in this earth, of course, 
um, meron po mga temptation, marami pong kalaban sa, sa paligid po natin na itiktem po tayo na gagawin itong mga masasamang bagay. So, when we are progressively holy, that means um, we are covered already with the Holy Spirit. Hindi na po tayo gagawa na mga kung ano-ano na ikakasakit, ikaka, ikakalungkot ni Lord po. Amen po. So, but still, alam po ni Lord na we are in our fleshly bodies po. We are weak. So, minsan po, nadadapa po tayo. Kaya sabi po ni Lord in 1 John 1, 9 po na, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive all of our sins and cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness. So, every time we commit a sin, um, we just ask God for forgiveness. Lord, patawarin niyo po ako, Lord. Nakapagmura po ako, Lord. Lord, patawarin niyo po ako, Lord. Nagawa ko po ito ulit, Lord. Patawad po, Lord. That's it. And God will forgive you. Yun po ang buhay na ka na nagkakasala lang. There is a difference between uh, namumuhay sa kasalanan at nagkakasala lang. Namumuhay sa kasalanan, it means na wala pa si Jesus Christ. Wala pa yung Holy Spirit sa atin kasi ginagawa pa rin natin yung magusto natin eh, na, na masasama. Pero when you say that... Um, you are just sinning or nagkakasala lang, it means normal, tao po tayo, nagkakasala po tayo. Kaya nga po sabi ni Lord, the grace of God is unlimited. The mercy of God is new every morning. So you just need to ask for forgiveness for patawad po Lord. And that makes you a holy progressive, progressively. Holy po tayo progressively. So yun po. Um, pero po when... Do you remember po yung panahon na si Jesus Christ is on that cross and a uh, two person po sa both sides po niya left and right yung unang tao po na sabi po sa kanya na kung Dios ka talaga ka nang i-save mo kami ngayon tanggal uh, ka nang uh, uh, i-alis mo kami sa ganitong kuan at lumayo tayo parang parang uh, ano ba yan basta pangit yung way po niya pride po yun Pero yung isa po tao dito, sabi po niya, huwag ka nga magsalita ng ganyan. Alam mo pa na tayo may karapatan mapako dito, pero itong tao na ito, napaka-holy, napakalinis, hindi, po, hindi siya karapat-tapat na mapako dito, sabi niya kang Jesus Christ. Lord, kung, kung saan ka man, Lord, papunta ka na isama mo ako. That is humility. And what God says to him, sabi po niya, sabi ni Lord Jesus Christ sa kanya na, ngayon din, isasama kita sa paraiso. Amen? Meron pa ba siyang time to repent for, for his sins? Meron pa ba siyang time na na, na, na magpababtize? Kanang only by his heart. Di ba po? Only by his heart nakita ni Jesus Christ yung puso po niya, yung genuine heart, yung humbleness po niya, yung humility po niya. Kaya sabi ni Lord, nakita niya, when, we, when he speak, when he uttered the word Lord, that means already he acknowledged Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. Yun pa lang po, ay, um, that brings him already salvation. Kaya po sabi ni Jesus Christ sa kanya, I will bring you to paradise right now. Diba po? So, pero yung pong time na yun, mamamatay na po kasi siya. Pero tayo po na namubuhay po tayo, we need to really fight in this battle po na habang dito tayo sa kamunduhan. And in order for us to win this battle lang po, is always abide in the word of God. Kasi sabi po ni Lord in John 15.5, um, I am the vine, Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me, in Jesus Christ, will bear much fruit. But apart from me or Jesus Christ, you can do nothing. Diba po? So we need to always abide in Jesus Christ. At paano po natin magagawa yan? By reading the Word of God, by knowing the truth in the Bible. Po. Because in the Bible, there are specific instructions po paano mamuhay ng according to the will of God. Amen po. When you say that you are a born-again Christian, when you say that you are a Christian, it means you are a follower of Christ. So, paano nyo po nasasabi na you are following of, you are a follower of Christ kung hindi mo nga alam anong ifa-follow mo? Diba? So, dapat alamin po muna natin kung ano yung gusto ni Lord sa buhay po natin through reading the Word of God in the Bible. Amen? So, that's it po. That's the, the explanation about uh, being born again. 
being born again for. It's not about um, religion. It's a relationship in Jesus Christ, in our Heavenly Father. That's being born again in spirit and in truth. Hindi po flesh, but in the spirit po. I hope and pray that um, you understand this message. God has revealed something in your life. And I pray that we will not only be listeners, viewers, but you will be doers of of God wants us to do. Amen po. So, reminders po, we need to repent for our sins and accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior so that we will be born again in the Spirit. Amen po. So, thank you so much for watching po. I hope and pray that God will bless your life, protect you from any harm and diseases, and provide everything that you need in Jesus' name. And I pray that all your heart's desires will be granted by God in accordance to His will alone. Amen po. So, to God be all the glory and praise I say. So before I close this message, po, please do support this um, channel that God has entrusted to me by clicking the subscribe button down below. Thank you po and God bless you all and to God be all the glory and praises. Bye!